Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another review of Mashal. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So, we got another great chapter of Mashal. Now, something I noticed right off the bat in this chapter, and you uh, obviously you probably noticed as well, is that Mash after the aftermath, yes, they were like, hooray, hooray, husband, husband, hero, hero, hooray, hooray. Like they were, they were like in a song or celebrating. But Mash had this blank face the whole time. You know that face that he does when he's just like uninterested or whatever. He's just like, just just no emotion type face. He just had that whole face. Even when Lemon, we, we, we're going to get to Lemon. We're going to get to Lemon. Even when Lemon was talking to him, like he was like, oh, you know, he responded like in a nice way. But his face was still no emotion, right? Now, we got to talk about Lemon. So Abel said he didn't know no lemon. I was like, what if lemon was going to the bathroom? Like they made a comedic mention of it, right? So Abel was just lying because lemon was a puppet. Like I'm over here overanalyzing and lemon was a puppet, but it was not obvious because Abel already is like, I don't, I don't know that person when they were fighting. And when he releases marionette's magic, all the puppets turn back to the students and lemon was one, one of them, right? Uh, Finn obviously was one of them and Finn was just holding Mash's leg saying hero hero and then <laughs> Lemon was like husband husband so I got trolled we got trolled right the people that believed Lemon was somewhere else right uh, which is very interesting so right now is Mash Lemon Finn and Dalt all together which is cool right they're, they're and, and Dalt's face is punched in because Lemon was embarrassed uh because Mash literally responding to her in a normal manner, and she blushed and then punched what was going for Mash's face, I guess, but instead punched Dalt's face in. Like, he looks like a cartoon character. You can't even see his face. Like, I, I, I love this manga. Like, I do. A lot of people in my reviews in the comments say they love the series. I love the series so much. Thank you for everybody that watches these reviews. I do see the comments. I do respond. Um, the nice comments saying, I love you, enjoy your reviews and things like that. I really do appreciate that. Because this is a series I could talk about forever, basically. We need that anime, right? I, I even made it um, uh, in one of my reviews. I was like, I'll be a voice... Uh, any voice in the anime, right? I'll, and somebody commented, said, you could voice the hat. You know, remember the hat that they place on the people's head to determine their house uh, that they'll go to, their dormitory? Yeah, I, I will voice the hat. Like, oh, man, it, it, it was just some good stuff, this chapter. Because MASH... Okay, before we get to that, Abel, we got Abel's backstory. His mother was from nobility. Uh, she was very kind. She didn't believe in treating uh, others below her in a miserable way. She even gave out uh, food to the poor and stuff. And then one of the poor people was like trying to hoard all the food. So she was like, no, stop. And she got stabbed and got killed because of that. Right. And because of that experience, that's why Abel turned out like this, because he's like all the lower class and stuff. They're just bad people and all this stuff. And that's like there's bad people at every level. And Abel's just like, Oh, well, uh, the lower class, they have the, the worst people, right? So his opinion didn't change. He did all of this because of his mother and how he felt, you know, obviously he lost his mother presumably when he was younger and stuff, we could assume. So that's why his whole mindset is like that and why it's not changing anytime soon because even after the battle, he's like, yeah, you're not changing me either. So, you know, MASH is not about forcing people to change, but I do see able changing later on, way later on, right? Because... Now, we got the escape prisoners. Mash was like, where's Lance? Okay, this is a thing that I'm thinking about. I hope that Lance... Okay, because Lance... That was not Lance. This is what I'm getting at. It's like, the Lance that was over here the whole time was not actually him. Is that what it is? Because we did see him using his gravity, uh, uh, gravity type magic. I forget the official name uh, of his magic, gravity magic. And not only that, we saw a second stage of it. If I, I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. So maybe at some point after that, those battles, this prisoner uh, like put him somewhere uh, and then took uh, the, his, his, his place, right? That's what I'm thinking of, right? 
unless this prisoner has been Lance the whole time, right? By that I mean like like ever since they went in down there, like he he put he stole Lance somewhere, like he locked him up somewhere and took his personality and stuff. And maybe he's so powerful that well he is powerful that he could even replicate magic. That would be insane, right? Because he could replicate your face. Now you could replicate your magic. But there's a thing with the second uh, second stage. It's like, can that be replicated? We'll, we'll see, right? Because Rain said, oh, this is not good. This guy is as powerful as a divine visionary, right? Because he stopped a sword from Reigns like it was nothing. <sighs> this arc is just getting better and better and better. We got the prisoners, boom, right in, right? And I found it hilarious that Reigns figured out that Lance was not a student off of pure chance. And then he, he was he like was questioning to see like how this person would react. That 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 was hilarious, right? Now, the this is crazy. John Pierre the cannabis, a fork, a knife, a giant knife. We saw the gigantic knife. So his magic looks like it to increase objects that he has on hand, right? Inanimate objects, we can say, right? Because a regular knife is not going to be, like that butter knife is not going to be that, that gigantic, right? So this is going to be a very epic battle. I am very, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we, it does not get off panel. What do I mean by that? We got the results of the battle. We don't see the battle. Like, I don't want that to happen, right? Mash is strained, Right? Uh, yes, he got that handkerchief uh, or whatever from Reigns, but he's still tired. Like, he, MASH is not a, a machine, right? Then everybody else is tired. So, and then a, a, an opponent that is, a, is as strong as the Divine Visionary is upcoming to them because Abel was working for them and he's going to find something. I wonder what they were looking for. Uh, probably some magic item or something like that. That's what I'm presuming. And it's like, it, okay, even, okay. It's probably gonna be five versus one because Mash is gonna like, you can't kill Abel or whatever. And then they go all fight against this guy. But he, like I said before, he is divine visionary level. Not only that, just like Reigns. We'll see how Mash fares against this person, right? Cause somebody did tell me there's people that outside of the school that are stronger than Mash, that could give Mash a challenge. And I'm, I think this is one of the guys, right? He's not from the school. He's a, he's an escape prisoner, right? So I'm looking forward to that battle there and also the battle with John Pierre. I, I cannot wait. So overall, great chapter. I enjoyed it. The twists and the turns. The comedy was there. Everything was there. It's like so much anticipation now. So I'm giving this chapter a perfect score of a 10 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.